In this benchtop module we will look to design benchtops for the design on screen. To do this you can choose design from the pull down menu and countertops and trims or select the design I same icon from the toolbar. What we have is a simple but more complete design. You will note that the hobs, sinks, windows etc have been placed into it. To make the viewing of this design less cluttered we can select the tab on the bottom of the drawing that says all and in brackets no dimensions. This will filter out the dimensions from the design which are not required for this process. By selecting the cut to tops and trims wizard icon you are then presented with an options dialog box which allows you to choose the options to be created. The catalog to create from and the style type from the catalog. Once we have selected the options to generate simply select the add button and 2020 will generate the elements selected. As you can see it has generated a fairly basic design and we will need to modify it to complete the design for the breakfast bar. Zooming will give us a better view of the area to be edited. To manipulate the bench top simply right mouse button select it and choose B top on the flight menu choose edit shape. Note the edit shape toolbar appears and grip points appear on the bench top shape. To extend the back edge of the bench top out for a breakfast bar overhang simply right mouse button select it adjacent to the line and choose add line from the options available. You can either drag the line out to the desired location or enter a value in the edit box. It is important to remember to drag the mouse out in the direction you want to go straight away. I'll just remove this point and then repeat the process on the other end. Working with lines, points and curves it is possible to draw any shape required to finish the bench top shape. As you can see once we have dragged this end out, it will leave two points from the original shape. Once more, if we don't want these points, we can simply right mouse button select them once it's created and choose delete. We can repeat this for the other one. I can now set the radius end with my mouse or by typing in a value in the edit box. If I decided that the radius end I was I've just created was unwanted, I could simply right click it and select straighten arc. The same goes for a corner. Just simply right click on the corner point and choose radius corner and set the radius value as before or by typing in a value in this case 75 millimeters to both corners. So click add, type in the value and select. Filter the view so that only the bench top is displayed. You can simply select the countertops tab in the bottom of the screen. In this case, you will also see Tokex displayed. If you wish to filter out these, simply right click, select Display Settings, expand Residential, then Countertops and Trims, and simply uncheck Tokex and choose OK. Note the Tokex have been removed from this view. If we further wish to manipulate the bench top shape, I select my bench top and choose Edit Shape. And then perhaps I could add in some additional points by right clicking the line and choosing add point here and here. Now I can do things to the shape such as radius the end or add a chamfer. So I might radius the end here, here and radius it here. Now I have a wave shape, obviously possibly not realistic in terms of making it, but just a demonstration of how you could go about creating more complicated shapes if required. To undo, I simply un use the undo function. What I will do now is go back a few steps and show you how you can move the points manually with my mouse. I simply hold down the control key and left click the point and stretch it out to any location I want and change the shape of the design. 
As you can see, just keep holding down the control key and then you can manipulate the shape to anything you wish. If I don't like or want these changes, I can simply select the discard or undo changes and it will return the design back to the previous state. That is pretty much all there is to creating and manipulating bench tops in 2020 design.